Hello there everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very, very warm welcome to you all today. It's the 31st of August, so yeah, it is time to show you all my finishes for this month. So, including the um, Diamond Art Club calendar uh, image for August, we have got three finishes. Um, I was hoping to maybe have had four, but um, I do have a work in progress, a whip going on here, which I'll show you the update on. I haven't got as far in that as I would like. Done a lot of gaming again, as per usual this month. I've actually managed to get myself three platinum trophies, so so uh, <laughs> that was, uh, and I'm big games as well, so not games that just take a few hours, I'm talking... Uh, games that take a very long time so i think i've got my i've got my platinum on the playstation 4 version of fallout 4 and i also got my platinum trophies on both the playstation 4 version and the playstation 5 version of resident evil 2 so they're playing a lot of fallout and playing a lot of resident evil anyway we are not here to talk about games we are here to talk about diamond painting and to show you my finishes for the month so first of all let us look at um, the Diamond Art Club image for August. Going through all the months here. June, July, which we saw last month. And August is this beautiful smiling sun. Talking of which, it is really sunny today. And my table is right next to the window. And there was so much sunlight coming in through. I've actually drawn the curtains. So you probably won't see, in fact, you won't really see the sparkle off of these. Because it is uh, quite shady in here. But here we go, is our sun. Full of happy colours. Oranges and golden yellows. We do like our happy colours. I think... These are we're starting to edge out blues now. It's one of my favourite colours to diamond paint. I think I think blue blues is still there. Um, but yeah, I think oranges and yellows, nice sunshiny, happy colours are uh, very, very close behind. So that's my first finish for the month. Not really much to say, didn't take very long. However, you do have to single place these because as you can see here, it doesn't follow a grid pattern. It's uh, in the shape of the actual design. So you have to, you, you can't really multi-place. So single place and all that. Shall we have a look? Shall we have a look at what's, um, what's coming for September? I've got a feeling it might be a bit more autumnal now. And it is, it's the back of this truck. I'm going to have lots of browns, oranges again. Um, pumpkins, gourds, uh, squashies, uh, sunflower. Very harvest festivally. Nice uh, leaf. So, yeah, starting to get into the autumnal images. Don't know if I want to do anything like <laughs> quite so uh, autumnal. I'm saying that again. Because <laughs> uh, it is super sunny. Super sunny. Plus, I'm going away um, on Monday. I'm going away on Monday for a week. Not a week, sorry. Uh, four days, five days. From Monday to Friday, I'm going away. And I'm, and I'm off down to the south of France. So it's going to be really sunny. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, there we go. A nice sunny sun. So that is my first finish. We will, I like uh, before, we will leave that out. Because I think I might sit and do that truck, even if it's super sunny. Um, next finish, we won't do it in order. Um, we'll do it kind of reverse order in a way. Um, next finish is um, my Art of a Lion. Um, just on Friday, I think it was, when I uh, scheduled it to go up. Uh, you will have seen this um, kitted up, uh, completed as a time lapse. And also gave a little bit of feedback on it as well. I did this wholly um, through kitted up in trays. So I had been trying out some stackable tray systems. I've got the cat eared ones to, to uh, give a good go at. Um, that will be coming. Um, but 
I, I tried the art dot trays, which was quite funny actually, because I pulled an art dot painting out. So <laughs> tried the art dot trays and an art dot painting. It worked really, really well. This went so fast. I did this in one day. One day. We are probably talking round about. Well, well, when did I start? Did I say I started? I think I started around about half one. It was certainly after lunch. And then that was including the kitting up, by the way. That included the kitting up. It wasn't just the actual diamond painting itself. Um, so, yeah, back at one o'clock or thereabouts. Uh, finished before I went to bed. I think it was probably around about half nine or there-ish there again. Uh, but I had breaks in between. So, like, obviously I had my tea and and that kind of business so so yeah it um it and that uh, it, it was really fast i mean it is quite a quick diamond painting anyway it's because there's rather large number of color blocked areas um if you want to check out the time lapse if you want to see how i got on with the trays um I'll, what i'll do is i will link that video and you can have a little look at it um However, the, the only sort of negative thing that I have to say about this painting is something that I've found um, is consistent with art dot paintings. Now, my art dot paintings are all older. I've not got any of the more recent art dot releases, you know, the ones that come in the tubes. I don't have any of those. Um, I don't think I'll be buying any of them either. Um, I've got a huge stash to go through. Um, I don't want to be adding anything to it. Um, so, uh, I don't think, I can't see me buying any of the new ones. Um, so, I can't really see how this compares to the newer ones. But in my experience with Art Dot, their drills, there's something about them. Um, I think I described the feeling as being slippy. They weren't dusty as such, but it did feel like there was some kind of incredibly fine powder all over them. Um, sort of imagine to stop them sticking together when they're in the bags, but they felt like that kind of slippy powder feel. And I, I can still feel it. I can still feel it. So it's not a, it's not a wet slippiness. It's more like a dry slippiness. Uh, and for that reason, uh, I found myself having to replace my wax a lot, a lot more often than I would normally replace. Um, I thought I'd try it with putty um, because in my experience, I, I really, I've, I've made the switch over to putty now, I love putty. And in my experience, you know, putty lasts a lot, lot, lot longer than wax. Um, with the, 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 the brands that, that I have here that I've tried. However, I was replacing the putty um, as often as I would or <laughs> as I would have replaced the wax. Uh, so I thought I'm not using my nice, lovely scented putty on this if, I, if I, I'm having to change it all the time. So I went back, I actually still have quite a few plates of cheap wax kicking around. Um, I think I've got this, I've got this blue heart wax. I just keep a few, I don't, I don't keep very much wax around anymore because as I said, I've moved over to putty. But I do keep a few bits and pieces about, just in case. And I think for occasions like this, um, the fact that I've had to change it quite a lot, um, it was useful, useful. But I do like the painting. Uh, unfortunately, you don't see this around anymore. I did try to Google to see if I could find it. Certainly you can't get this, the art dot version of it. Um, I'm sure, I mean, they are quite common images. I'm sure if you looked around maybe some of the budget sites, uh, you might be able to find this image there. But certainly Art Dot don't uh, have it anymore on either their store or on their Amazon shop. So. Okay, oh, one of the things actually I should say, because I don't, it's not a thing that I, I mention really as often as I should. Um although the links are down in, in um, the description boxes. If you are interested in any Art Dot products, um, I am an Art Dot affiliate. I've got a link down below. Um, that is for purchases from the Art Dot website, not through Amazon. Um, you will get a little bit off, but in my experience, um, it's a lot cheaper on Amazon than going to the Art Dot website. 
but if there's anything in particular that you're looking for that you can't find on Amazon, go to the website, you'll find it there. Um, and you know, if you want to use my affiliate link, you can. So I don't see this very often. In fact, very rarely do I see anything like this. Um, it's not my, it's not my jam, but if it saves you a couple of quid, uh, if it's something that you're looking for, it's not on Amazon, if it's on the that dot website and it saves you a couple of quid, uh, feel free to use the link. Okay. Um, my other finish, my other finish is Electric Beauty from Diamond Art Club. So again, this was an August finish, although I think most of my time working on it was, let me just check, because I'm, I'm just thinking, I've shown this already as a finish. No, I've got it down as an August finish, I don't have the exact date. Um, let me zoom out. See, see the bed, spare bed. I'm in, I'm in the spare bedroom. I've reappropriated it as a, as a um craft room for myself, but I still have to keep the bed there just in case of guests. <laughs> they have to move my diamond art. I have to move my diamond paint and stuff. Anyway, um, arm. Uh. Electric Beauty Diamond Art Club. Um, this, um, I was wondering where this had come from because I didn't remember buying it. Um, I've, I've had a, a look around and I thought, I think this came out of an estuary box. So you know how Diamond Art Club occasionally do their um, mystery boxes? So in there you'll get, you don't know what you're getting, but it's like you normally get like maybe three four diamond paintings there's usually like something exclusive but most of it is stuff that they've got a, a surplus of stock in their warehouse in i think this i think this probably came in the same box that got my teletubby in because i've got a teletubby as well and another hulk which um which i did as a giveaway <laughs> so yeah i think this came in a mystery box um so yes uh i like it I like it. So it wasn't a picture that I actually chose, but I do like it. Um, we're going back to the colours again. Uh, it's full of blues, which I love. Also teals and purples, which uh, I do like those as well. Um, we have got uh, 34 colours in this. It has got 1AB, which is a white AB here. I'm not too sure how well it's going to pick up because, as I said, I've got the curtains drawn because of the bright, bright sunshine. But we've got a white AB here in the centre of the flower. Um, it's a very stylized flower. Um, I like. I, I can see the name Electric Beauty. It kind of looks a little bit like of a hydrangea type flower in there with like sparks going off the side. But you could also think of this as an actual flower. It's at the centre of a flower, and then these are petals. It's quite interesting. So anyway, we've got the some <laughs> so we've got some white ABs in the middle. Um, but we've also got fairy dust here. We've got two different kinds of fairy dust. We've got a purple and we've got a blue, a pale blue. Um I did say at the time I can't see the fairies. I can't see the the appeal or the uh, attraction or and I fact I can't actually see the fairy dust diamonds. Um, now, I know a lot of people uh, love fairy dust di diamonds and I know, you know, there's probably loads of you out there, people watching this video now, who are like, what, you don't like fairy dust, you don't like fairy dust? And I am in no way um, saying that fairy dust is uh, not good and, um, you know, it's just, it's not for me. Because we all like different things and if the world would be a really bo boring and dull place if we all like the same things. Personally, I don't like the fairy dust diamonds. And the reason why I don't like them is because I don't see them. I don't know that they're there unless I get my nose right up at the canvas. If I'm standing at a viewing distance, I cannot see them. The only reason that I know where they are is because I placed the drills. It's the only reason that I know there's fairy dust there and, and where they are in the canvas. And that is the reason why I don't like fairy dust diamonds. If you are going to add enhancements to a diamond painting, 
I want to see those enhancements. I want to see that extra sparkle. I, I you know, I, I do enhancements with crystals. I can see it, you know. Uh, I can't see the fairy dust. They, to me, they just look like normal drills. So, apologies to all, all of you out there that do love your fairy dust diamonds. You go you. Um, as I said, I mean, no, no disrespect. I'm not dissing you guys. You know, you like what you like. I like what I like. And I like, I know what I don't like. And I don't get the thing. I don't get, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't get them, you know. I don't get them because I can't see them. However, I do like this painting. And for a painting that I've not chosen, um, for something that was essentially a mystery, out of a mystery box, I think I, I struck lucky on this one. Double lucky, actually, because not only did I get it in a mystery box, I also pulled it at random. So, yeah, this was nice. It's a round, if I hadn't mentioned that, and uh, it was an absolute pleasure to do, an absolute joy to do. It's Diamond Art Club. Um, quality is second to none. Uh, drills, excellent quality. Canvas, excellent quality. Drill field, superb, super clear, and um, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic experience. Really, really enjoyed it. Okay, that now brings me on to my um, current work in progress. Talking about fantastic experiences, this is another one. And it is Celestial Wolf. Um, I will unclip this actually because I've got it rolled up and held with these little mini bulldog clips just to so it doesn't trail everywhere it's like my cover minder cover minder came from diamond tribe i think uh, i think that's a diamond tribe one it's my little my little kitty cat so this is celestial wolf uh this is a canvas from diamond painting fanatics it is uh, by uh, charisma arts and it's quite, it's a big one, this one. It's one of the kind of, I wouldn't say it's one of the, yeah, no, it is. It's probably one of the larger ones that I've got in my stash. I do have bigger than this. So I've got some that are way bigger than this. But this is starting to get into my larger diamond paintings. It's uh, 60 by 75. So, yeah. The smaller side of my larger paintings, but it's certainly in my big painting stash. It has got 50 colours. And once again, we're in the blues. And this time with some more teal, some green as well, black. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's a square. In terms of special drills, we have got, we count one, two, three, four, five ABs. So we have five ABs. Um, these are kind of scattered all through up here at the moment. Um, we have got um, some blues, some teals and some greens on the ABs. But we also got glow in the dark drills as well. We've got a white, we've got a blue, um, no, not a blue, sorry, we've got a white, we've got a teal and we've got a green glow in the dark. Um, this moon here, all that white, that's all glow in the dark. Glow in the dark here, here. I've got some round here as well, some round here. So this is going to look amazing. Don't know how I'm going to feel if it's up. It's going to be in my spare room, but it's up in the wall. Um, I don't know. So I don't know how I feel about having glow in the dark painting up on my wall in the room I'm sleeping in. I probably open my eyes and go, "Whoa, what's that?" <laughs> But uh, I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. I am, um, I would say I'm about a third of the way down. Um, let me just uh, find my tape measure. So it's 75 centimetres up and down the way. So at the present, I am 30 centimetres down. So, so yeah, I'm a, a third of the way. Uh, almost halfway I think once I finish this row here I'm going to be halfway down so yeah so once I finish this row here I'm going to be halfway down um with these larger diamond paintings seeing as I've got it open 
year just now. Um, I'll just take a minute to explain how I work on these large diamond paintings. Uh, I'm not one of these people that spin their canvas. I can't get my head around all that at all. Um, what I do is, well, you saw I had the bottom um, rolled up like this. Uh, just so it's not hanging and catching or I'm pulling it um, from the uh, from my knees at, at my table. And then I, I clip that with some a couple of bulldog clips, these little tiny ones. Um, I use release sheets. Uh, these are Diamond Art Club release sheets, I think. Smaller ones, they measure 10 by 6 seven and a half centimeters and um, I work on that sort of section at a time so you'll see here let me zoom in and you can see okay so this is the section I'm working on currently you'll see that um, I will give myself a little rectangle area so I will move the release sheet that was on here I'll move that down and then have a, we'll have a line going across here for the area that I'm going to work in. And then the sheet to the right hand side as well will form a border here too. So I just work on this area. And then once this one's finished, I will then, I will then take this one off. The cat's going to go on the floor if I'm not careful. Now I'll take this one off. I will line that down there like so. Uh, this one's a bit squint, so I would move that up here like so. There we go. And then I would have another rectangle to work on. So that's how I do my large diamond pieces. And I just work through it that way. And uh, and I feel that, let me just, I'll maybe put it there. That, that, that works fine for me. That works really, really well for me. So at the end of September, you should see this finished. Um, I'm, as I said before, I'm going away for a few days, so I won't be doing any diamond painting. But um, I've also got the following week off work as well, so um, I might spend that week sitting and doing this, finishing off this diamond painting. Let's see, maybe get it finished by mid-September. I hope so anyway, because otherwise September's going to be quite a dry month for uh, showing you completions, because it might only be this one. Okay, so uh, let us put this away and we will go through the, uh, well, we'll zoom back out again actually, oops, wrong way, we will go through uh, the finishes. Just bear with me here while I just clip this back up. Oh, and I, oh, uh, just to follow on with how I work on it, as I move down the painting, what I do is I'll push it forward and then um, my table's not against a wall, so I just let it drop down the back. Um, I, my previous table was up against the wall, so I couldn't do that. So what I would do then is I would um, roll this backwards like that so I would have a kind of a scroll thing going on and, and, and pin the sides with these little bulldog clips but since I've moved my table I now have got um space at the back so I won't need to do that rolling there I can just drop the canvas down the back okay let's move this now because what says that done with the celestial wolf for the time being Okay, so finishes for the month are, uh, as I said, just the two. We have got um, Electric Beauty, and which is all blues and purples. And we've got our Art Dot Line, which is like everything else. And of course, we also have, work it out, we also have our um, Sun here from um at diamond art club calendar so again we're going to ask yourselves what's your favorite for this month what's the favorite for august um 
you know what i don't think i can call this one there's not one that stands out to me completely um let's take our calendar it, you know what maybe this sun maybe the sun because i've got negative things although i lo love both of these um i've got negative things to say about both of them the fairy dust don't get i've explained that already and the drills changing my wax all the time um this one however made me smile from start to finish it wasn't really a lot in it but i had no issues with it and it makes me smile more than the other ones so i think for once this month, my favourite painting that I've done has been the simplest because it's the one that's made me smile most. Okay, that is it from me. Uh, if you would like to tell me what your favourite canvas was that I did in August in the comments down below and I will see you well, I'll see you at the end of September with um, my uh, September roundup, but obviously I will be seeing you before then throughout uh, the month. Well, not throughout the month, but on and off during the month. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm off. Goodbye. Cheerio.